How are you doing today? You're doing good? Okay, excellent. Um, I understand that you're here just to observe today and kind of watch. Okay. Alright, great. Um, let me just get my pen really quickly. Okay, so, um, you are studying to be a cranial nerve specialist. Okay, great. So, um, can I have a, just a little bit of your own information? And then, um, this is our, this is our patient today. He actually is getting a cranial nerve exam. So, you're going to be able to learn a whole bunch from this uh, procedure. Okay. All right, great. Um, do you have any questions for me? So, um, a typical cranial nerve exam, you know, it just depends kind of how the patient responds, how the patient, um, does, all in all. Um, so it can last anywhere from just a simple five to ten minutes, or it can go into, you know, thirty minutes to an hour even. Just, just really depends on the individual. Yeah. Okay, so, um, if you didn't have any other questions, I'll just take a couple... Just a couple notes from you. Okay, what is your name? Okay, and uh, what's your last name again? Okay. And, um, so you have your file with you, you have your records, your, um, your portfolio, all of that. Let's see. And you've never done an observation for a uh, cranial nerve exam before, have you? Okay, so this is going to be your first one. Okay, perfect. All right. And let's see. Just by looking up your name, I already have all your information, like your date of birth and stuff like that. So we can just jump right, um, jump right to the patient's cranial nerve exam. Feel free to stop and ask me any questions along the way. Okay. All right. And I am Dr. Prem. Okay. It's very nice to meet you. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions if that's okay. All right. I believe we have done a cranial nerve exam on you a couple of years ago. Um, have you had any? you had any uh, recent falls or anything um, in between that time? Recent falls? Um, yeah, have you, like, have you had any head injuries? Have you fell, bumped your head? Anything like that? Um, I slipped on the ice. Okay. Let's see. And did you come into the doctor for that? No. You didn't get seen or checked out? No. No? Okay. was the date of your fall? I don't remember. Okay, was it this year? Yes. This winter? Okay. So, um, considering that it was this winter and you don't remember when it was, do you, have you had any memory issues, any problem? Um, no. Mem okay. You just kind of can't remember the exact date, is that correct? Yeah, I just can't remember the exact date. Okay, I'm oh, sorry. I almost sneezed, okay. Alright, so I will definitely be taking a closer look at that. Um, did, you have, did you have any uh, head pain during the fall? No. You didn't? You just slipped and everything was okay? Yeah. So you, di you didn't feel the need to come in and get checked out? No. Okay. Well, we're still going to take a, uh, just a bit of a closer look at that, just to make sure you didn't suffer any trauma. Okay. And how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. 
Feeling good? Yep. all your information but I'm just gonna have you verify a couple of things with me really quickly um, let me grab my notes here okay so can you verify for me your name Drew and your last name having a little trouble remembering that yeah okay. I have Reynolds. Oh. Drew Drew Reynolds? Yeah, Drew Reynolds. Okay. Alright, and uh, how do you spell that? R E Y N O L. Okay. Reynolds. Okay, great. Um, any relation to Ryan? No. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Um, okay. So, can you verify your. Um, date of birth for me? Okay. March. Okay, yeah. 26, 03. Alright. Okay. Same birthday as Steven Tyler. That's excellent. That's very interesting. Mm, not the same year, but the same date, of course. <laughs> Quite a bit younger than Steven Tyler still. You lucky duck. Okay, so uh, we are just going to um, ask you a couple questions, okay? Um, just give me just a moment. Okay, so you always want to double check with your patient to make sure their memory is good because even if they say it is, you know, sometimes it can be a little off. So you just want to kind of run through uh, simple questions, make sure they um, all right. Okay. So do you have any allergies, anything like that? Nope. Do you take any medications currently? Nope. Experiencing, um, any, any sleep troubles? Um, is it easy for you to get to sleep at night? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay. What about waking up in the morning? It's pretty easy waking up. Feel yeah. a little droggy waking up. Kind of droggy, kind of. Okay. And um, on a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your overall health right at this moment? I'd say, I'd say a six or a seven. Okay. And, um, all right. All right, that's very interesting. So, six or a seven. We're going to want to, we're going to want to get that to at least a, a nine or a ten, okay? Okay? Yeah. We don't want to do that. <laughs> six or a seven isn't bad, though. That's very good. Um. Okay, so, okay. Right. which, you know, that's why it's a good thing to uh, always visit the doctor yearly, get, get annual checkups and things like that. That way we can go over yeah. ways to improve your health and, yes. you know, things like that. I believe if we are doing pretty good. So did you are you doing okay with your sight? Yes. When was your last um, vision test? Um a couple of days ago. Okay, so very recently actually, okay. Um let's see. Do you know today's date? It's okay if you don't. I don't. Okay. Just look that up really quickly. I don't either. Let's it's February 6th, Sunday. Okay. He's on the <laughs> ball. All right. That's very good, very accurate. I think your memory is in great health. Um, okay. 
So that would have been on the third or fourth, I think, somewhere in there that you got your, your eyes checked. Yeah. Okay. Great. What about a hearing exam? Have you had that recently? No. Nope. Okay, we're going to do that <laughs> today. Okay. It's okay. And like, as far as your feeling senses, your, um, your taste and your smell senses, have you gotten that checked out since the last cranial nerve exam we did a, a couple years mm. ago? No, no, I haven't. Um, just one second. So, so things like hearing, or no, sorry, things like tasting, smelling, sense of um, touch, things like that. Um, those aren't as important to get checked annually, but we're gonna go ahead and check him out just because he had that fall in the eyes. Okay. Nothing to worry about, but you just want to be extra sure. Okay. All right. So, before we go ahead and start um, your exam, do you have any questions for me? No, I don't think so. Okay, if you do along the way, if you have any concerns, if you feel um, uncomfortable at any moment, just let me know, because, you know, this, this whole process is just for your comfort, really, and just to make sure everything's looking good with you. Okay. Okay? All right. So, for a cranial nerve exam, First, I just like to kind of get them an overall checkup before we start testing their senses. Um, so I'm going to throw on a pair of gloves really quickly, so just pardon me for a moment. And sir, if you could go ahead and put on a mask for me, I'm going to be getting pretty close up. Um, to your face. So how's the weather out there? Is it still pretty cold? It's still pretty cold. Okay. Okay, just give me just a second. So as far as your sinuses and things like that, are you experiencing any trouble? Breathing. Um, not, not that I know of, no. Okay. Go ahead and just relax. You can just stay right there. It's fine. Okay. I'm just going to kind of feel your glands. Okay. All right, go ahead and look down for me. Any pain in your neck? No. Okay. What about if I tilt it this way? Oh, it's a little... Kind of. Kind yeah. of pain that way. Okay, we're going to slowly bring it this way. Oh. Mm. It's very yeah. mobile that way. Kind of pain over here. Okay. I'm going to just take a couple notes here in a bit. Um, okay. Go ahead and raise this arm. Raise that. Any pain there? No. Okay, go ahead and raise the other arm. Any pain there? No. <laughs> okay. Right, and I want you to just look this way with your head. Any pain? No. And the other way? Kind of pain on that side. Okay. All right. your your right side was it just experiencing a little dull pain um on a scale of one to ten how would you rate the pain on your neck i would say like a four okay 
that's definitely reversible. We can we can be able to uh, figure out some way to treat that for you. Um, so as far as like physical activity and things, are you do you do you practice stretching in the mornings or at night? Um, at school. Okay. There's a lot of exercises and squats and stuff, so. Okay, great. Okay, you're doing great. So, we are first just going to start out with checking your eyes. Okay. okay. Um... I'm going to go ahead and have you take your glasses off if you're comfortable doing that. Okay? And um, I just want you to look right here at my finger. Okay? Just right here. Okay. Okay. Alright. Go ahead and put your glasses back on. To, you can go ahead and turn a little bit if it's comfortable. If not, you can stay there. Okay. So I'm going to hold up this marker. Alright. And what I want you to do is I want you to focus on this marker. And I'm going to be holding up a, um, a certain amount of fingers. And you're just going to tell me how many you see. Okay. Okay. Three. Watch the marker. <laughs> That's okay. That's quite okay. Alright, you ready? Am I supposed to... You just watch this marker, and then you try to figure out how many fingers I'm holding up over there, okay? With my peripheral vision? Of course. Okay. <laughs> so, focus on this little tip right here. Okay, ready? Three. Two. <laughs> Two. Three, two. Okay. Um. All right. I'm just gonna need to make a couple of notes. You did get a couple of those. Um, incorrect. Um. So we are gonna actually want to test your peripheral vision a little bit better. Um. And just so. That no worries, no worries at all. Just so that we could be a little more precise. And how long have you had glasses? My whole life. And do you know your prescription? No. Okay. Um, Are you, are you more nearsighted or farsighted? I think farsighted, I'm not sure. I'm honestly not sure. All right, that's perfectly okay. We will get that all figured out. Okay. So I'm just gonna have you look back at our chart over here. Okay. Um, we're gonna start with line four. Go ahead and read that out loud to me. L, P, E, D. Good. Okay, we're going to jump down to 8. D, E, F, P, O, T, E, C. Good job. What about this very bottom line? P, E, Z, O, L, C, F, T, D. Great. So you did perfectly on that. just going to check your eye pressure actually so if you'd like to slip your glasses off again I'm going to get pretty close so just try to uh, keep your eye open you might feel a little flutter okay Oh, 
Okay. Hmm. Let's just go over your uh, family history just to, just briefly. Does your family history, um, anyone in your family, like immediate family, mom, dad, brothers, sisters, do any of them experience um, eyesight trouble, glaucoma, or anything, anything like that? Um, I think my grandpa had okay. glasses. Did he? My, yeah, my okay. dad, okay. my mom. Okay. Um, but other than that, nobody in your immediate family has glasses or any eyesight trouble? No. It's no. just you? Yep, just me. Just me. Interesting. Okay. So, alright, we're good with your eyes. We're going to go ahead and look and see your ears. Go ahead and look that way for me. See this side. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and have you close your eyes. And what I want you to do is I just want you to raise whatever hand that you hear the sound on whenever you hear the sound, okay? Okay. As far as your hearing, do you have any trouble with your hearing? No. Any concerns, comments, questions? No. Nope. I don't think so. My hearing is intact, I would say. Okay. <laughs> That's actually really great. smelling portion of this test so you can go ahead and bring your mask down past your nose that's fine okay and go ahead and close your eyes go ahead and take a whiff like a coffee or something like that oh. that one was actually something different do you want to give it another try Okay. Yeah. Take a whiff. <laughs> what, what do you think that might be? I have... I still think it's kind of coffee. Okay. It smells like coffee. Um, go ahead and open your eyes. I'm going to show you what that was. Ice cream sandwich. What? Okay. That's okay. I'm just going <laughs> to... It's okay. Um, gonna have to make a little note here on the computer. You're fine. Right? No, no <laughs> one's perfect, you know? No one is perfect, and you're doing great. Okay, go ahead and... Alright, yeah, great. Cheating in this cranial nerve exam. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and take a whiff of that. It smells like childhood. Okay, that is actually not <laughs> um, correct. It was dragon's blood. Oh, how would I know that? Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. If they're not already closed, sorry. Okay. Take a big whiff of that. Mm. 
You smell anything? I don't know what that is. Cinnamon. Oh, cinnamon. I could have I could have guessed. I just Yo, Doc. Oh, yeah. Would you, next time you put something up to my nose, would you put it closer, kind of? Like, okay, like yeah, really absolutely, close? sure. Um, Thanks, Doc. No problem. So, <laughs> go ahead and just, how about you take a few deep breaths? Let's try to get those nasal, your congestion going. Try to breathe through your nose. Yeah. And out through your mouth. That's fine. Yeah. Practice that a couple times. Okay. Feel good? Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and do the next smell. Okay. <laughs> Smells like... Like vanilla? Um, so that's actually like a minty type smell. Um, it's actually bay leaves, which I'm <laughs> I would I wouldn't expect you to get that precisely, but um you should have smelt more of like a spice or an herb type smell, something fresh, uh, gardeny. Yeah, of course, not, of course, doctor. Not so much not so much vanilla. Yeah, yeah, I don't I don't know what herbs smell like. It's fine. <laughs> So I might actually have to send you to a specialist to get your scents smelled, um, or mm. scents tested, but that'll be like a different area of the hospital. Okay. These, these smells were sort of specific, so I do apologize about that. Um, you just did so well during your last cranial nerve exam with your scents, um, but sometimes when we have a fall, Maybe it doesn't affect our memory, but it could affect other areas of our bodies. So you could have, um, you could have had something. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't don't worry about it. Lots of people have um, inaccurate test results with the scents and stuff like that. Do you um, also give people dragon's blood to smell? Mm -hmm. I sure do. So we're gonna go ahead and move right along to the taste. Okay. All right. Yes. Now checking your notes. Last last cranial nerve exam, your tastes um, were just a little bit off. Mm -hmm. You remember that? Yeah. You thought um, I can't remember what it was. Let's see. You kept thinking that the scents were strawberry, and they weren't. So. We're gonna work on that. Um, the tastes for strawberry, okay? Okay. So we're gonna do something very similar to that today. Um, it is gonna be a different, different candy. I believe last time we used uh, Laffy Taffy on you. Okay. This time it's gonna be a little bit different. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead and just um, relax, and you can go ahead and take your mask all the way down for this one. Okay, and keep your eyes closed. That's a very important part. So this. One. So I'm going to have you go ahead and hold out your hands, and I'm going to drop a couple of these. And um, go ahead and eat those, and tell me what taste that is. They're both the same taste, so you can eat them both at the same time, just so that you're getting that full effect. I think it's more like a strawberry taste. Excellent. You actually got that 
Okay. You got that right. Okay, keep your eyes closed and we are moving right along to the next one. This one's gonna be... Um, but before we give you a different taste, I'm actually gonna have you eat a walnut just to kind of counteract your taste and get some of that strawberryness out. for your next one. Mm-hmm. Keep your eyes shut, please. Okay. You can eat those both at the same time. Like an orange? Great, great job. Did that walnut in between help you? Um, I guess, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give you another one. All right, cool. Go ahead and eat that. Um, so the next one, this is gonna be the last te test. Okay. Okay, go ahead and hold out your hand whenever you're ready. Go ahead and eat those. I'd have to say grape, right? Um, that one was actually cherry. Oh. You did get two out of three, correct? So you did a great job. Um, okay. You did a really great job. Mm -hmm. So the last portion of our test is going to be feeling. Close your eyes, good job, and um, hold out your hands. Just bring them up a little bit, okay? Now I want you to wiggle the finger after you feel something on it, okay? Okay, okay. Like just the single finger, okay? Okay. Do you have any questions about your sense of feeling? No, I felt everything. Okay, as far as your sense of uh, taste and um, smelling goes, do you have any questions about that? No. Okay. So I'm just going to have you um, take your mask down Open your mouth. All right. So we are actually almost done with the cranial nerve exam. I'm just gonna check um, a few things, their heartbeat and things like that. Um, did you have any questions for me so far? You didn't? Okay. All right. Yeah. So I just wanted to say really quickly that you are doing a phenomenal job. Okay. I'm just going to move this. Okay. Take a deep breath.
deep breath in. And another one. Okay, go ahead and breathe normal. <laughs> there it is. I was beginning to thought, um, think you were a vampire. <laughs> Couldn't find the heartbeat. <laughs> okay. So, perfect. Very strong heartbeat. Um, once I found it, of course. Yeah, you did, you did sound a little congested. Are you having any congestion problems? Yeah, kind of. You're a little, okay. wrap things up today did you need a note for school yeah i need a note for school okay for tomorrow maybe. um i'll go ahead and type one out and you'll just uh, have to stop at the front desk um and pick it up on your way out okay fairly well you did you did fairly well um your peripheral vision's a little off but that's that could be due to your glasses here you know mm -hmm. um and your smell was definitely a fail uh, but that's okay that is that's completely okay and i already got you uh written up so they're gonna actually make an appointment with you at the front desk okay to to thoroughly just check that smell and it could be because if you have any kind of cold right now mm. do you do you have a cold right now kind of right. okay I that could definitely throw things off yeah, so very, your your next scent test they're going to start out with the very um just like basic smells okay okay the most basic smells then they're going to work their way up and do like more particular smells like we did today so we'll schedule that how about a month from now? Okay. Okay. That way it gives you some time to get to feeling better and Yeah. Maybe study up on some scents. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Um so they'll confirm the date and time with you up at the front counter when you go collect your note for tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Doc. Yep, no problem. And did you have any other questions for me? No. Okay. Wonderful. So uh, you did a great job. You know, I, I could tell that you were very thoroughly um, listening in and you know taking notes and everything. So that's great. Um, did you have any questions? No. Okay. Well, uh, thank you so much for sitting in with us today, and I hope you learned something. Okay. You have a nice, relaxing rest of your day. I hope to talk to you again. Absolutely. Okay.